Virginia. It's Monday night. Uh, Monday the 27th. Walker's event was yesterday. I am up with Gordy. It's uh, 10 to 9. You just put the beans out, as you do. And we can hear water going. And I've got the flower meter on, and I'm just filling up. So, as you can see, just filling up, just above the ground there. There's 37 gallons. Just gone in there, and I did it to go on the phone. 37, 38. 38 gallon in there at the minute. Now, you're probably wondering why, after having this pond for so long, then you can hear me, but after having this pond so long, why I'm using a flower meter. It's just to double check. Sign everything's up. It turns all plumbed in with 245s to sweep it and push it round the pond. Um, I might even put another return over this side to be quite honest. Uh, in this end hole, I might put another return there and have the two, but we'll see how it goes. But uh, yeah, filling up, this is where now my season will start, or hopefully. Um, at least when I get this full, I've got I've got manoeuvre then, manoeuvrability with them coming over here. Uh, and then I can sort them in the black tank down the back, sort them out as to where I'm going to keep moving up into there and all the bigger stuff get out of there, put in here with the heater showers because they've had no, no growth in that tank. So we'll get them in here. While, while all that's going on, that's getting done as well. People see it, but it's, uh, it is getting done as well. So, that's the way um, It's Monday night. Uh, once again, I know it's been said many, many times. Many thanks to everybody who attended yesterday. Great day had by all. Um, I don't even think there was anybody who actually complained, in all fairness. That's, that's always a good sign, and uh, we're looking forward to the next. Rob's already thinking about the next one. Bloody hard work, I tell you. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, good day by all. And once again, many thanks to everybody who called and said hello, and who I met, and one thing and another. Top dog. But we'll add a bit more video onto this now as we go through the week. Um, Drake really going to be a lot to show unless things go wrong here. Yeah. I hope they do, fingers crossed. Um, and then we can see about getting some filter start in there and get that get that up and running, get ready and get a few fish over. Happy days. So until then, I'll catch you later and uh, I'll let you know how many gallons in here. Oh, I'll tell you what, have a guess in the comments. Have a guess how many gallons in here. I oh, don't know how many, how many was in here. But now the, uh, now the tent is going for on and the point work's been altered. And whatever else, I don't know how much is in here, so have a guess in the comments and we'll see, uh, we'll see if we can give a cup away eh, for the right answer. Fair enough, eh? Get the answer right, I'll give a cup. Of course, eh? Much better than that. But this will be filled tonight. What I'll have to do is I'll have to stop it later on and take the reading and then and then we'll carry on filling it tomorrow evening. It should be full guys tomorrow evening to be fair. Um, Right, I'm stopping up till about 2 o'clock in the morning for this to get filled up. There you're going to have to. But have a guess. Put your comments down in below. Have a guess at the, uh, at the gallonage. UK gallonage. And, uh, and we'll see if we can get a couple away. Alright? In a bit. Try the guys, I'm making chocolate. I might be surprised myself here. Oh, is that all this means that? Hey, Roy. Then we're around about, I don't know, 10 inches up. And that meter is saying 247 gallons. Now if that's the case, if that's the case, there's more water in here than what I thought. And that means that I've always under undertreated this one. We are 10 inches up here, we are out the window. Mmm, good to go. I'm going to stop it at 2.50 and I'll carry on tomorrow. See you in a bit. So there you go. That is exactly where I've stopped it. 250. Now don't forget that's UK gallons, this high litres. So we've got 250 gallon in there at the mini. And we're still 
650mm from where we're supposed to be, over two foot. So it's like I said, there's more water, I'm thinking, there's more water in here than what I thought. But it's 10 o'clock at night now and I'm packing up. I'm going to reset the meter. We've got 250 in there so far. I'll reset the meter. We'll go again tomorrow. Catch you later. Tuesday evening, having you. It's Tuesday, it's Tuesday. Losing the day. We pull up. We pull up. And all I'm going to say, I'm surprised. Okay. Put your comments down below to say what you think the gallonage is. Don't forget it's UK gallons. Here's what I've measured it in. And it a what I thought or what I worked it out to be on previous videos. So if you go back on my videos you'll see what I was what I was saying the gallonage was. So it a on it either. So see what you can uh, see what you can do the closest one or the one who whoever's bang on. I'll uh, send you a cup out. And we'll get you a cup in the post. So yeah, happy days, I'll pull up. It's gonna take a couple of water changes this week. Uh, there's some bits floating about, so I'll let the, the filters do what they've got to do. There's also a load of salt in there, which I haven't even checked the salt, I've just put a bag in. And yeah. For some reason it looks smaller. Mad eh? For uh, happy days. Just got a salt around the window. Look, we're buggered up with the silicon seeds on the red. So I've got to, I've got to redo the red. And there's this here. I've got to find a glass scraper out. Let's see if I've got one in the shed. But all in all, I'm pretty much, I'm pretty happy with it. To be fair, I'm just glad it's up and running again. Um, the return is splashing a little bit more than I'd liked. I could still bring the water level up if I wanted to. These are more okay, there's no leaks in here, so I'm, uh, I'm happy about that as well. Um, it is running, as you can see. The pump, I, well, it's a full up, but it's a, uh, it can go full up. That's a 9,000, that is. 9,000 you buy out very. And that's all full now. But that's too much. It's too much anyway. I don't never run it full. I only run it on number three normally. Maybe number four now the ten pieces on. So well, I reckon come the weekend, weather permitting, I'll be getting the Makashis and the Kawar Foos out of there. They'll be going into here. I've got to go and see Rob and get some build to start. I know he's got some uh, Evolution Aqua stuff, you know, the blue stuff. I know he's got some of that. So I've got to get some build to start. Um, and then I'll be bringing the Makashis over into here. And of course, the uh, the Kawakus as well, because they're they getting too big and then just too much competition. I'll probably put the Yisa showers in here as well. Um, even though they have showed much growth, in all fairness. A couple of other showers, can't remember where I've had them from, to be fair. Which seem to have grown well. Um, so I'll have a sort out. I'm interested in them Akashis, because when I bought them, those 29 cm, as I've already said. And I do believe the, the, the Kawakus as well. I think I'm closer to 40 now. Pete seems to think I'm 40. So it'd be interesting to get them out and get them measured. It's been about 12 months. Was it May last year, I think? Yeah, I think it was May. We went down to Adam Boys and got them. But you can see them, them, them too big and them, them a little bit too big for the uh, for the smallings to get at the food properly. But we'll see what we do. We'll see how we get on. And then we can uh, we can sort out what's in the other tank in the the sales back down there. We can sort out what's in there and bring them up here, I suppose, and get them growing on in here. So what? Uh
Yeah, there you go. It's, uh, it's full. Happy days. I wonder how long it was going to see before it was full again. Now I've got to get the big end done. That's for concentration now. My season can start now. Once I've done the couple of wet shines on this, got the levels and everything where I want. So we've got the salt levels where I want it. I can then, uh, I can then get my season kicked off and then get these fish swapped over. It's going to take a couple of days to get that right anyway. Happy days. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, put your comments in. What's the gallonage in the sleeper pond? UK gallons. Oil has been changed. Nexus, uh, sorry, uh, Tempest has been added. And it's today, what I thought it was. Catch you later. I guess he was going to be buying fish very soon. <laughs> Not as many gallons as I thought there was though. I can't tell you how many yet. It'll all come clear. I've got it on the YouTube AI. Yes, the gallonage. The only, only one who knows is it has many as I thought it was. I've put salt in, put some de in, some other stuff. Get a couple of extra changes if we could be ready to go. Happy days. It's uh, Wednesday, Wednesday evening. And what I'm doing is clean on the easy pod. Now you're probably wondering why. Well, that easy pod has been running sort of all night now. Um, so whatever's sort of sitting in the drain and stuff is, is pulled it out. There's bits of straw and everything in there which when I fetch that uh, when I fetch that easy pod um, it come with sort of chicken shit and straw and everything in it to be fair so I threw it straight in the pond when it was bleached. Um, there's the easy pod over there at the minute look. So I threw it straight in the pond and just bleached it straight off. No messy. Um, so yeah that's why I'm just getting into a quick boil. I'll get a couple of boils anyway through the week before I get any fish in there. Temperature's gone up from uh, 9.4 uh, to 9.4. But the reason for me pressing record is due to that. I made a phone call today. Um, <clears throat> Skeggy gave me a call and he said to me, he said, did I hear you say that on one of your videos you put extra media into a Tempest? And yes, I did. Um, I bought some media for that easy pod over there, as I've said. I bought some media for that and what I've got left, I think I put an extra five litres in there and he said, well, how did you do it? He says, because I thought they were a sealed unit. They pretty much are a sealed unit, but you've got this on the top. You've got this on the top. That, you can unscrew, take the piece of pipe out and there's an hole going straight to the middle chamber. And that is how you get your media in there. So you have to put a funnel in and get your media to drop into here. It's only an inch and a half hole in the top because there's a grid inside here. Stop the cable on obviously rising and going out. So there's a grid there and an inch and a half hole and this pipe actually sticks down into it. You might just see it under there. See that pipe under there? Yeah, that pipe in the middle. That pipe, I'll cut at the top off this one to be fair. I can do it on the other one so I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll go and empty the other one and I'll show you. It's best to show you, right? but you can get more media in these, and I'll put an extra five litres in that. The one at the top, the one on this pond, is a second hand one, as you already know, and this has already had extra media put in. So, you can probably tell it's got extra media in. Well, you can see it, there's, there's big stuff, there's small stuff, there's different stuff. So, it's just that extra put in there. But what I'll do, I'll empty that, and I'll show you. I'll show you that this top this top cap comes off. They clean so much better off an airline. Look at that. I only cleaned it last night. So I expecting to get too much rubbish out of it. I have plumbed the waste in now. So I've took it so as it goes down there with the rest of my waste. That then goes all the way down to a, a thing at the bottom. So I've also replaced the valve at the bottom. Well, that's now emptying out.
but I'll let that empty. But what I'll show you is this, this part on the top. Unscrew that. If you want to add extra media to it, empty. Take that off. Like so. And then this pipe, just pull it up, pull it out. And then you can see down there. And that's how you get your media into your tempest. I don't want to teach people how to suck eggs. You've got to make sure that your media, obviously, is down in the main chamber. Because if there's any left on that top, that top bit, then it's going to get flushed through into your pond or over to your shower, whatever you're going to do. So uh, that's uh, that's how to add your extra media. Now you can see that's pretty much off and off. But uh, this one works a treat anyway. I, don't, I have put no extra in this one because I knew it had already got it in. So that's lined up and gone in now. That's just jumping up and down. Look what it is, it's just what have I done? I've left some open, I suppose. I'm losing weight from somewhere. That valve, that'll stop it. So yeah, that's tightened down now. I can now shut that off. Open that one up. Oh. <laughs> and open that one up. That spurts water every time. I can also open that one back up. Don't know if that needs clean. I don't think so. That's all right. That was that was only done last night. These ones. I'm gonna have to put a bit more water in there. Uh, take that air off there, it's just still bubbling, don't need that to bubble anymore, and I'll switch that on, that's filling back up now, and ding dang do, there you go, happy days. So that my friends, is going to put more into your Tempest. More bio, more mechanical, whatever you want to class it as. Me personally, I think it's better as a bio instead of a mechanical. So shut the switches down now and leave them to it. Topping that back up. Fresh way to go in it, don't matter really, because there's nothing in here at the minute other than clay and whatever else and salt. Uh, so well. Give this the second dump now. Give that the second dump. I will uh, do it again tomorrow. So yeah, I was I was asked. Sorry about the camera skills. I'm doing it. You know, I was asked to do that by um, Ross Gaggy asked me to be fair. Skeggy asked me if I'd do that just to show how we done it. If Skeggy don't know, there's probably a lot of people out there who don't know as well. I know to put uh, extra media into your tempest. I mean, that's got plenty in as well. Just show. That's got plenty in as well. More than what it comes off Evolution Aqua. So there you go. It's all about biological aid, biological media. Um, I've got two systems, as I said, now running the same, pretty much. And uh, that system's been all right. This one's been all right, just on the easy pod on its own. So why not add a little bit more extra bio? Happy days. What I'm going to do, um, probably run you through tomorrow night as well, and then what I'll do is I'll start it fresh for the weekend because when the fish come out there, there's a couple of things going to happen. I'm going to get measured up for one, and then I'll probably do a scrape on them as well. But that's my easy pod emptied now, so I'm going to give it a quick flush around, and then I'm going to uh, switch everything back on. Catch you in a bit. So we're all up and running again. Water levels down, obviously. That's going in straight out the tap. Straight out the outside tap. You can see that's around about to the P. The level of that media. That's running full bore at the minute. And also this one, I'll show you as well, is also around the back to the P. I think when they come, there's probably that much in to the T maybe. Maybe a little bit more. 
but as I said there's extra gone in there and it's worked alright on that one it's working alright on that one and hopefully we'll be working alright on that one so all uh, happy days and catch you later and guys just a quick one just a short one in the middle of this video um, had the had a parcel delivered yesterday well actually I'm going to tell the truth I had two two parcels delivered yesterday and I spoke to the guy on the on the ring doorbell he put him in where I, I normally have him put and <clears throat> couldn't understand for, for all day it was bugging me why why two parcels why have we got two parcels anyway turns out that my mate here yeah, Makakoi Ah, Kylo, up in Mansfield, sent me a call. But he only sent me one cup. My mate sent me two cups. <laughs> Cheers for that, my mate. Yeah, look, here's the boxes, here's, here's the cups. So, yeah, mate, top bloke. Cheers for that. It's a cracking design on there as well, look. Makakoi. If you haven't checked out his channel, go and have a look. He's always up to summit. He's um, he's in the middle of a pond build as well, and now he's doing his filter house. His pond's up and running. Still, I got the tops on and stuff, but he's still got all that to go on. So go over and check him out, Makakoi. Spelled M-A-K-C-A. There you go, Makakoi. Go and have a look at him. The golden chap. Bang on, our Kylo. So uh, yeah. Cheers for more mate. I'm gonna go and see if I can get some concrete down while the suns are shining. Even now. The colour of that sky. But that's gone over. Happy days. Catch you in a bit. How have been ya? It's Friday. Happy hallelujah. I've been up here since I finished work. So uh, it's Friday. Um this is all full. I've got a confession to make you for money, so there's three fish in that pond. I put them in last night, um, just as a tester, and they're feeding lovely. I'll spin you around, I'll show you. So there you go, there's a Makashi, around about 29cm. I've got the Asagi in there, and a Mariton Shower, what we had from uh, Rodbaston, a couple of weeks ago. I've had a couple of ways to change these. Temperature is pretty much evened out now. It's around about 12 degrees. Uh, the salt is at 0.4. It's about 12 degrees, according to them. So the salt's at 0.4. So tomorrow, we've got the boys coming over. And the plan is, we get them out there. Or well, some of them. And we stick them in there. That's the plan. I'll spin you around, I'll show you what I've been up to the last few days uh, because I've been quiet on here. You know, it's only a split second for you, but it's, it's a couple of days later for me. Um, I was going to mention somebody as well. It'll come to me, you know what I'm like, I'm, bloody, I'm like a bloody goldfish I am. Memory of a goldfish. Don't know if you're getting it, it's going dark now, but we've got three, one, one there, two and three. We've got all them three in, um, and this one I've got to cast probably Sunday, I might get till Sunday. I don't like taking the timbers out too soon, because obviously the side's cracking. But in all fairness, it ain't perfect, it's probably going to have to be skimmed over and I'll show you in the day, when there's better daylight. Uh, I should have really showed you earlier, but it is what it is. So yeah, I'll tell you what I'll do. Tell you what I'll do, what I've had to do for the last bloody six months. I wonder where my glasses was and in that shape. The good old faithful floodlight. So yesterday when I come from work, I had a bit of a fit. And I, you know, you know who it is. Not as it, it happens very often. But I put them two them two lots in yesterday around the drain. And I've still got this one closest to me to do. Once them are in, we can then finish that block over there because I noticed that the other day and I thought, you know what, I'll start up with that block in. And then we'll, uh, we'll get it tidied up and 
possibly get the window ordered ready in time. There's still the back to do. Um, but I'm slowly breaking away at that. So it's able to showing you that at the minute because there ain't that much happened. But yeah, there's a couple of lots of concrete gone in there. So that's me. That's, I'll do it when I do it. Every now and again I'll have a fit. Every now and again. Not very often, but I'll have a fit. So, so yeah, we've got the three fish in here. Um, would you looking at me, is it? We've got the three fish in here. That Makashi is around about 29. The Asagi over there is the same sort of toys. Um, that's an Adam Boyer, Asagi and Makashi. And the other one is from Rod Baskin. So they're all in good fresh fish in there at the minute. Just about to see that one now. Coming across there. He's a nice little fish, that's my missus pick that was. It had nothing to do with me. They decided to buy that while I was off doing other stuff at Rodbast and talking to other folks. So, that's her pick. And as I said, the bigger ones are coming out of here tomorrow. And the Chagoys, they ain't coming out as well. Um, and we'll see if we can get some size on The Kajakus, what you're looking at now, the one in the centre of the screen, orange and white. They were from Cuttlebrook and I bought them last year as spawning brood stock, spawning stock, if you like. So they're three years old now. Not very big, but they're three years old. I think I've lost it. I think the female went with the rest of them. Um, I've kept the two males, but what I'm thinking, I have. So I'll have a look in the bowl tomorrow, um, which will be on this video as well. I've decided I'll just make a lungan for you this week. So the Makashis, the Shagoys, and, and we'll see what else. The, the Kawakus and coming out. Still got that shower in here with Dropsy, wherever it was. Is that it there? I think that's now that is. So there's a shower in here. It's got Dropsy, but this salt's at 0.3. Um, so going from 0.3 to 0.4, I know drama. In all fairness. Well, I'm interested now just to see what the growth's like in all fairness because I bought these in caches of 29. Now, looking at these in here and the one we're in the sleeper pond at the moment, these have put some size on. So, we'll have a look at them. Also, what I should be doing is, is the ones where I'm in is that down here. There's a lot of own grounds in there which are uh, which for sale if anybody's interested. Um, and some sack oil showers. But I should be taking out what I've got in there. What I've decided to keep out of that and put in a mini app. So we'll still keep the two ponds running. It just enables me and my season to start. And that when I mean by my season starting, I mean, yeah, you guessed it, probably grow, going out buying fish, in all fairness. So, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. It's, it's slow progress. I'm uh, still cracking on with the pond. Doing little bits here and there. I had liar jungles, I used to be. Oh, I used to. Mate, I'd have had that done by now. That was easy. But yeah, there you go. So, once again, I'm over 800 subscribers now, so thanks to everyone who's just joined me. And everyone, see them two signs? See them? What, where am I? One here. One there. They both say subscribe. Press that button. And uh, you'll see the new content and whatever else I bring out or new videos. So yeah, so we've got the boys coming out tomorrow, we'll get some of that footage on and we'll get some of the footage um, when we're swapping out with the fish. Catch you tomorrow guys.